Well, there was one last thing that I saved from the liquidation. Wait. Okay, almost there. Well, if it isn't Matt Megabot's Oraline. Hey man, I think I need your help for another project. Is this really the best use of anyone's time? Listen, I'll get sponsors and pay you. I just can't pay you to build giant robots yet. Smaller projects though, like heating up a knife and melting stuff, we can start there, we can grow the channel, I'll do the video, you do the building. Eventually we'll take applications from more builders and produce more content, and we can grow the channel big enough to afford giant sized builds again. Really? You're getting sponsors? Yeah, for example, this video is sponsored by ExpressVPN, a fast and affordable service that allows you to use the internet more privately and securely. For those of you who haven't experienced the benefits of using a VPN, let me explain. ExpressVPN encrypts all of your internet traffic and routes it through an anonymous server. This gives you a number of benefits. One, your ISP won't be able to track your browsing history and sell your data. And two, you can get access to a larger catalog of content through Netflix, HBO, Hulu, and more. This is because you can route your connection through another country so you can access that country's selection with the click of a button. The Megabots team and I used ExpressVPN when we went to China but didn't want to lose access to Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and all the other services that the Chinese government blocks. It's a pretty versatile tool and ExpressVPN is super easy to use with great customer support to answer any questions you might have. You might be thinking, well, now my ISP doesn't have my browsing history, but now ExpressVPN does, so what's the difference? Well, ExpressVPN doesn't store any data about the traffic that passes through their servers, so governments can't get access to it even if they were to raid ExpressVPN's data centers and take their servers. It physically cannot happen because the data is never stored on hard drives. Find out how you can get three months free by clicking the link in the description box below, expressvpn.com slash megabots. If you can pay for materials and get Tim to help, I'm in. I'm over here at Zach's shop with uh, Tim. There's Zach over here. And uh, this is the forge that Zach has built for us. We are going to use this to heat up our gigantic knife. And that's a little bit of experiment. So we're trying a new business model where uh, I go find sponsors for videos and then uh, I pay other people to build cool stuff. And hopefully we can make enough content to grow this YouTube channel. Eventually, uh, we'll see if we can get budgets big enough to build really big projects once again. So it's it's just two, uh, you know, it's a, it's a small Ford, I'm uh, sorry, a large Ford built out of insulating fire brick. And I was pretty sure that it was gonna be really hard to heat up that knife blade out there because it's a three quarter inch plate steel. So what I did was I made a burner manifold to hit both sides of the, of the blade at the same time and made them in to follow the arc of the blade edge. And then, so we're gonna use the forklift to lower the blade in from the top and then each burner manifold connects down below and we're gonna put a propane line up to it uh, and that's our fuel and then there's a little vacuum cleaner blower down underneath that's gonna provide air for a nice forced air flame. I think we have a pretty good chance of heating this up to red hot. Are we talking like 60% chance of getting the blade red hot? Or? I'd say at least 60, yeah. yeah. At Probably least 60. 60 okay. I don't know if it'd be bright cherry orange, but it's gonna glow. All right, well, we're gonna find out. And what I want you to do, so you don't catch your, your, your hair on fire, mm. is light it from over here. And I'm, gonna, I'm gonna turn the gas on really high. Don't do this. Yeah. So before we get to like melting stuff, we need to make sure that the forge actually works. So we've got the forklift over there, picked up the knife, and uh, we're just gonna fire up the forge and see if we can heat the knife up at all, if it gets red hot or not. Uh, we didn't really do any calculations on this. Just kind of like built it by guessing. 
and by we I mean this guy over here, Zach. Uh, but uh, we're gonna see what this does. And if it does get the knife nice and red hot, then we got a whole bunch of stuff that we're ready to melt. So the thing I'm most excited about is trying to melt a garbage can full of popcorn. So we'll see if we can do that. So the tip of this thing is a little bit bent, which you probably remember from the uh, original knife drop video where we took this thing up in the air like 50 feet high and dropped it through a car. So we might straighten that out. We might not. I don't really know. But uh, if it gets nice and red hot, we're going to give it a shot. First things first is test to see if the knife can even get hot. <laughs> running we can pull it out and try to hammer out the uh, hammer out the tip oh my god <laughs> Just the radiant heat. <laughs> you want to get ready to cut something? Melt something? It's definitely popping. We got some kernels, baby. It's working. So what questions have we answered for science today? <laughs> I think we know that popcorn burns. And I also think we know that friendships are also something that can be forged. <laughs> Along with a giant knife. This is a decent way to make popcorn. Yeah, it is pretty practical. Ugh. Okay, we're now going to buy a mannequin. This is like the weirdest store in all of Oakland. Not really sure why it exists, but I guess people need used mannequins, so. 
Glad it does. Hi there. Hello. How are you? Is that a Good. special kind of camera or something? It's just a normal camera. Oh. Alright, I'm gonna show you. What I call the cheap cheap seats. They're gonna blow up. Almost everything in here is like twenty. Twenty to forty dollars. This is the most expensive because she has all of her appendages. Yeah. Everybody else is twenty. Did you know people just had smaller bodies back then? I don't know how the but internet yeah. feels about us murdering a preteen. All right, we got our winner. A good purpose. We're home free. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Thank you, have Judy. Fun. Make sure you tag him. Yeah, I appreciate it. Feels a little weird, but whatever. This is the first human contact I've had in eight weeks. Wow. Hey guys, thanks for watching. You can head over to megabots.com and enter your email address to get notified when we're ready to start accepting applications for builders or when you can vote on who builds what. Once again, thanks to ExpressVPN for sponsoring this video. Later.